Um, first, I want to talk about uh, the dynamics and gating um, that's in the Sonox Dynamics plugin. I use this basically on almost every channel. For my, it's, it's my first dynamics that I reach for when I'm uh, going through my plugin folder. Um, but I'll show you some instances in this project I'm working on right now. It's a remix I'm working on. Um, it's a vocal vocal house record, and I'll show you some of the ways that I that I use the dynamics uh, for the, especially the gating and the compressor sections of it. And I also use the warmth algorithm too to uh, add a bit of uh, distortion and warm up some signals in in some places. Um, first, let me show you how I'm using. Uh, the dynamics on a, on the vocal. Take a look at all the things you've got. Nothing ever seems to hit the spot. Okay, so as you see, I have, uh, I have the compressor in here. Uh, the gate I'm not using in this instance because I'm using another gate uh, previous in the, in the, in the, ch in the chain. Um, but I have a limiter just to protect the output signal and a bit of compression. I usually start um, with the Sony bus preset. It uh, loads in, a, in the compressor, the warmth, the limiter. And I'll start from there and, and usually tweak. Um, I ended up with 57% around 57% of the warmth on that vocal there. And you see I'm using the compressor here and the gate, like I said, I wasn't used in, in this one. Um, see, I'll show you some other places in the project where I'm using uh, the Sonox Dynamics. This is my main sub bass. I'll solo that for you so you can hear it. And that's just a, a really uh, low bass just to support the, the main bass sound. Um, this one, as you see, I have the warmth algorithm in 100% because I really want to warm up that low end. And it, this always sounds really good on bass sounds, especially the, the lower they are, the better this uh, warmth algorithm sounds. Um, I have a bit of compression again um, and a bit of the limiter um, just to make the, the sound pop a little more. And this is kind of my ma main punchy bass. This is kind of the, the bass sound that sits right in the middle. And again, I'm using the Oxford Dynamics on that. And pretty much the same settings as the last, as the low bass. Have the warmth the whole way up again. Limiter, compressor, it's in there. Turn the dithering off. Okay, and uh, I want to talk now about how I use the dynamics on on drums. It can be more interesting because you're bringing the gates in more and things like that. Um, now I'm using mainly uh, soft synths in this uh, in this arrangement here. And if I was using more live instruments, I would uh, have more instances of the gate um, in there. But since the nature of uh, of uh, virtual instruments, there's not too much of a noise floor, so a lot of places there's not a need for a gate. Um, but I'll show you how I, I can use the gate in a little more creative way um, in, uh, in the drums, especially if you're, if you're bringing in uh, a drum loop. You can really change the dynamics of uh, the way it sounds. And here I'm using the gate on this drum loop to kind of clean it up and uh, make it a little more, uh, a little more snappy. Um, especially to clean up the dirt in between the, in between the drum hits. And I'll let you hear it without it in. And you can hear a little more of the, 
you can hear a little bit more of the dirt in between the, the hi-hats and in the, in the claps in there. And this can really, especially when you're using, when you're making dance music and you're stacking loops on top of loops, all those little uh, bits of noise, little uh, extra bits of the sample that are left in there um, can really add up and, and muck up the mix. But, you know, when you go through and do careful gating, sometimes extreme, As you see from using the hold and release, you can really control the, the transient of the, of the signal. And sometimes I might use it to this extreme because I'll have many layers of, uh, of drums and this could be just some kind of a supporting loop to give it more of a snap. And, uh, but in this instance, it's quite a main loop, so I, so I do have it a, a bit more natural sounding. Less gating, less threshold. You can hear the difference there. Again, I'm using the dynamics on the clap. and I'm using the gate. The clap sample had uh, a bit of uh, reverb on it. I'll let you hear it without the gate on it. And I thought it wasn't the best sounding reverb. There's, as you can hear, there's a bit of, a bit of noise in the reverb tail. Uh, I think it had been compressed at one point. You hear the noise floor coming up. Um, but what I've done is use the, use the gate from the Oxford Dynamics. Um, it's a really smooth sounding gate, so it, you, can, you can almost really get rid of that reverb tail and bring it back to the dry clap sound. And from there, I can just add my own reverb to it and ascend. little bit of ambience there. So I used the gate to uh, get rid of that reverb and now I can uh, go back to the dry sound and add my own reverb. Again, I'm using dynamics on this tom sample in a very extreme way here. As you can see, I'm just going to loop this part here. I'm using the gate quite an extreme. I'll let you hear it without the dynamics in it. So I've used it to completely take some of the, the drum hits out of this loop. So the gate is getting rid of the, the kicks in this loop, and only letting the toms through. But taking the threshold to quite an extreme setting and then adjusting the hold a bit. And then after that I'm hitting the compressor quite a bit to really make those, uh, those toms come up front. And I have warmth as well on that, at about 60%. To make a whole completely different sound. And I'm also using dynamics on high kick sample, which I've high pass filtered 
and I just wanted to get the just get the the beater of the of the kick. And I'm using the gate here in a pretty extreme way to get rid of. You see how the sample's been cut a little bit, and there's a bit of a click at the end of the the kick sample. And I've used the gate to really smooth that out and get rid of it. So I just have more of the attack and less and less of that tail that has the bit of uh, noise in it. Oh,